This is the back side of the Pempis and Pempis likes to have so much green on it. Okay, that's why I allow this this all my Pempis is to grow uh, freely but that not that freely though. And I have some growth here like this one which I allowed to grow because this is this is what Pemphis like they like to grow many branches because once in a while Pemphis is also just die on their own and sometimes I have already created a pad and then a Pemphis, that branch suddenly dies and I don't know the reason for that that's why uh, with that characteristic of Pemphis I let grow whichever pemphis, whichever branch uh, the pemphis would like to grow like this one and this so these branches okay. so are emanating from for example that, that one okay. Okay, that one Okay, so this one too, emanating from that. So like this one, this side of a branch, I allow the... Okay. So... For example, this branch and this this side of the branch, I allow to grow to create to create a future pad. See, and this one. Hopefully, this pad here, and this will create a pad here and here. So we allow them to grow like that. Okay. Yeah, this is the underside of the canopy so as you can see here And there are there are branches which are sort of hopeless because they're un underneath. And so, like like for example, this ones, we need to remove this this branch. So we remove that. Okay. okay there are more there. So we just remove it by hand, or sometimes. With scissors. So here, this is how to clean it. So now there is also here, this side, we remove another, this one. So these are considered suckers. Okay, another here. So we remove them. So even here. Okay, they cannot be reached with the camera anymore. So 
Only from is the top of it and that's the So the way to is to cut this, the way to trim is to cut the tip, you can reach the brown because you want this to, to be short so that it will not shade the weaker ones. So this is healthier also for the, for the tree because the base would be stronger see here as well we cut see almost to the brown portion so somehow this will uh, expose all the twigs to the sun and there are also dead branches you remove the dead branches so for example in this one okay. okay that one so you, re you remove that This portion on the top, I have already finished, including here. So I still need to work on here, this side too, this one. Or maybe I just leave this one to grow further. This one I need to work on also. See, so. so if you take a closer look on the top, see it's there. They're now shorter compared to this portion here see so I need to work here these are too long see I I work on the I work first once on the tallest Okay, once again, our objective is to uh, cut the ones who was the potential to dominate the growth and kill the weaker ones. So basically you just take off the tops, the, the tall ones, so that you will have sort of a regular. It's not also good 
if you cut too much but you can reach up to the brown level so right now I am cutting at the brown level Some here I am leaving because it might. These are potential branches. These are twigs that can that have the potential to become branches. So I'm leaving them on. So for this pad, this one, I am working on. branches here are included in this okay. so here we cut as well so this is to do it to make your pen face grow healthier let it grow first so that it can uh, conserve energy or it has it can have stored energy then that's the time you cut and then so this is the part this is one part like this or maybe I can separate this to be another part See, there are many dead branches. I need to remove them as well. Now, if you look here, there are so many dead branches. You need to remove this. This one. Also this one. Even this one. So, still have dead branches. Okay. This one, yes. That one, that's a dead branch you have to remove. And even here, still have a dead branch. Okay, so if you notice, this has, be, this has thinned. Yes, it has thinned. That's why you have to cut so that this, it will grow uh, more twigs and it will remove. This is a dead branch. Oh, with just my hand just by just bending the day here's another one so what you would like to do is you cut the, let them grow let them grow freely then when they're about uh, they are uh, away or they have surpassed the silhouette about two inches then that's the time you cut them two inches or more so you you cut them and put them back to the silhouette and by that letting them grow freely you develop a strong base twigs so in when you have a strong base twigs like this there's a bigger chance that you will also grow healthier uh, fully just okay I have completed my trimming it's including this lower part so you will notice that this pad which is going low I did not cut any because I'd like this to become a lot stronger and probably become another pad up to here so raise this, raise this up a bit and then like that raise it, raise it up by wiring 
but this half has to be stronger. So that's on the top. Okay, every almost every tip has been cut. See, and also here, you will notice that I did not cut this long uh, twigs here because they have the potential to become branches and and make this uh, wider. So, for example, this one. This one, if I can make it up to here. Here I mean the pad, not just the branches. So this ones we can turn down like that, wire down like that, and create a pad here, another here. And that would be good if I can make that. So, so even here, here, I'm leaving this twig alone so that we, again it has the potential to become a branch like this one. And at the same time also strengthening this overall branch here okay, the overall branch here so I'm referring to this one so once this will be growing long this branch also strengthens up so same with the rest okay. then at the back you know that the in the new branches I have not cut any of course because we would like this to be stronger and then especially at the base we'd like it to be a lot stronger here at the base and here's another this and this I'd like to get stronger here's one that is wanting to grow but it's being shaded I'm not cutting it and allow it to grow so for this ones here eventually they will be lowered down like that okay so some branches are like this one uh, I'm leaving I'm I'm not really cutting it I although I cut it not very short but I don't know maybe I'll just cut it up to here so that eventually this will become a pad and this will be free from being shadowed so here also I, we can wire this further because this one this is a branch that is emanating near to the base which this is the kind of branches I want to grow emanating from the uh, base like that you see so I let it grow and it's here outside and it's now in the process of forming its own pads, but it's not very well ramified yet. Anyway, that's the process. I'm just showing you the process. How every time, because Pemphis, uh, as I've said, it can just, some branches can just die off, but not the tree actually. And then some branches grow. So, so whenever there are branches which like to grow, then I just allow them okay so that's my Pemphis maintenance it if you may uh, notice I did not really uh, detail it because there are still branches which are dead inside but uh, I did not work that detail because this is not going to the bonsai show yet so the, the goal now is just to let them grow actually let them grow but not to the point that it will be dominating the growth of the other branches and killing them so i also i still see to it that they will not be dominating each other and so that's the maintenance and of course the next thing is to shower them because the the leaves are the leaves now exposed to the to the sun is not uh, attuned to the sun yet because they have been covered by their top leaves so again uh, the next thing to do is to shower okay so you shower them from the top and then so for example if you have new new cuts like this one you I wash them actually 
So I shower them from the top and then I also shower from the bottom. This is also part of my pest control. I wash them from the bottom. Okay. So that some pest might be hiding. Uh, of course, it is. The pest is prone to be hiding. I think my hose has been kicked. I think because it is very slow, the pressure is very low. Probably somewhere. Anyway, I'll just continue. So, to increase the pressure a bit, so you can focus it. To increase the pressure a bit, then once again from the inside. So, from the underneath. So that's uh, how I water my pampas, uh, at least once a week. So once a week, we wash them from the inside or from the underneath. And of course, I include the ground because basically all plants receive nutrients from the ground. But some plants, especially bantigi, this pemphis can can well uh, adapt in two full year full year fertilization. But what I only spray here is the salted water or the sea water. So again from the top and from the underneath. So even if you are, have not, haven't trimmed it yet, you can do this once a week. But as, as I've said, every time you just trim it, after some trimming, you have to wash them like this so that they can absorb water from the foliages and defend itself from the new sunlight. So, that's it. Okay, the other pemphysis will be have also overgrown like that one. See, the leaves are getting out of silhouette, and so they also need uh, trimming, and it will be the same treatment. So see now, I have done one pemphys and. I told it's 7 o'clock in the morning, so it's going to, to the sun eventually. So that's my garden and it's time for me to do my exercise. So that's my exercise bike. It's uh, seated on a roller. So. so I can hold myself here.
good thing you make success without a camera. Huh?